Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I want to talk about how my credit score recently went up by a little more than 30 points. And I just want to explain how that happened. So I've made different videos about credit scores and why they're important and like the different like parts that go into a credit score. For me, the biggest thing that made my credit score go up was the fact that my credit utilization went down. <laughs> So really brief explanation about what credit utilization is. So let's say that you have a credit card that has a limit of $10,000. So a general rule of thumb with your credit utilization, you want to only access 30% of the credit that's available to you. So if you have this credit card that has a $10,000 limit, you don't want to spend more than 30% of that, which in this case would be $3,000. So always have your credit utilization be below 30%. And that's just one credit card, but if you have five credit cards and they all have a limit of 10,000, then that would be $50,000 of a credit limit. So you wouldn't want to do more than 30%. Um, and what, what is that? I think that's 15,000. So you wouldn't want to go more than like 15,000 on uh, uh, your total uh, credit that's available to you. So whatever your total credit amount that's available to you, don't go more than 30%. And I broke that rule and I was like way over 30%. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was a lot. Like I had one credit card that had a max of 10,000. And I think at its highest point, I was like somewhere in the 9,000s. So um, yeah, yeah. So it like significantly lowered my credit score. So for you, I would say to learn what um, your total amount of credit available to you is, like learn what that number is. So find all your credit cards and add that up and find out what your credit utilization max is. And remember, if you don't want it to go more than 30%. So do that math and, and learn what that number is for you. So now that you know your credit utilization and, and what that number is for you, now you need to find out like, how can you like work this towards your advantage? And these are some tips and things that I did. So number one, uh, I asked the company that I got my credit card from, I asked them to just increase the limit. So this is something that's really easy to do and usually you can get an answer within like 30 seconds max, like maybe a couple days. Uh, that did happen with one of my credit cards. It did take like a day or two for them to come back with a decision. But what you can do is you can, it, de it depends on like where your credit card is from. But for me, I was able to go online and so I like, logged into my account where I would pay off my credit card and there was like a way for me to request a higher limit. Um, you can't do this too often. I would say like maybe once a year, that's uh, when you can do it. But I just clicked the link and I said like, can I raise my limit? For some of them, they want you to like put in a number that you want it increased to and others, uh, they don't ask you that. And it's just like a yes or no, do you want it increased? And then um, either they'll say yes or they'll say no. It's really that simple. Um, so for one of them, my limit was like 10,000 and I um, asked if it can be increased and it they increased it to like 13,000, I think. So is a really simple thing. Uh, but for me, it really helped because it increased um, the like gap between what I owed versus what credit was available to me. And so that was just with one credit card. I tried that with three different credit cards, two of them, it did work. One of them, it didn't work because they told me that I owed too much on the credit card. That was the Apple one. Uh, so I think the balance or the the credit available to me was like 6,000, I think, and I still owed like 4,000. And so they said no. But interestingly enough, as I've been paying that off, um, they like sent an email to me and was like, hey, good news, we increased your limit. And I didn't even ask and they just increased it. So if you notice on my uh, like budget videos that I do every month, um, 
the like credit available to me for the Apple card is actually more than it has been in previous months because they on their own decided to increase it. I don't know why they did that, but we don't question good things. At least not, that's not what I do. So that's uh, like the most simple thing that you can do. And like, if you just got the card, that's not gonna work. Like I said, um, you need to wait. Like for me, I wait like every year, I try to increase the limit. And, but that is the most simple thing that you can do and it doesn't hurt at all. And again, don't be afraid to ask. Either they say yes or they say no. And if they do say no, it's not gonna like hurt your credit or anything. It's just a yes or no type thing. Another thing that you can do that's kind of risky if you don't have self-control, but you could open a new credit card. Hear me out. So if you do open a new credit card, that's going to give you another line of credit, which is just going to add on to this uh, total number of credit available to you. And so it's just gonna help you that way. The only downside is, well, there's two downsides. Number one, you could go like out of control and put too much money on that credit card that you can't pay off. So that's like one concern. But also um, when you open up a new credit card, it is a, it's considered like a hard inquiry on your credit. So you don't want to open up a new credit card often. I typically open up a new credit card once a year because um, it will ding your credit score a little bit when you open up um, a line of credit. But it's not like you opening up a new line of credit hurts you a little bit, but you having a larger um, amount of credit available to you is more important than the like one little ding on your credit score because you opened up a new line of credit. The hard inquiry from opening up a new credit score, it only stays on your credit report for like a few months. It, it goes away um, eventually. So it doesn't hurt you really in the long run. So that's an option. You can think about it if you want to do that or not, but it will help your credit utilization. The last thing that I did to help increase my credit score was definitely the hardest, but it did um, make a huge impact on increasing the credit score, which was paying down my debt. <laughs> As you know, if you've seen different uh, videos on the channel, I have two credit cards right now that have debt on them. At the beginning of the year, they had a lot of debt and towards the end, I've started uh, paying them off and I should have them paid off sometime at the beginning of 2021. But over the course of the year, me paying down my debt, it's um, like, decreased my credit utilization. So I don't owe as much, but I still have all this credit available to me. So that was like a major thing that enabled me to uh, increase my credit score, was just paying down the debt on my credit cards and keeping it down and not putting more things on the credit card. So just every month, what I owe gets less and less and less. And by less and less and less, I mean by like thousands of dollars, it's going down every month. So um, it's been able to really increase my credit score over time. But like I said, that's the hardest thing. That was the hardest thing that I did that increased my credit score. And not everyone's gonna be able to do that. So I really think, especially the one just asking them to raise your the limit on your uh, credit cards, that is the easiest thing to do. So I really, I think that more people should do that. I don't know if, like, I don't hear people talking about it, so I don't know if people know that they can do that, but it's really just logging online or maybe you have to call them, um, but it's, it's really easy to do and the worst they can say is no. So those are the things that I did to help increase my credit score. I hope you try some of them out and I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and leave some comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.